Part 1. White Clouds. Blue Sea Moon. The Goddess's Rite of Rebirth. As the sun grows stronger and the nights grow ever shorter, the Blue Sea Star returns to the sky once more. Believed to be the Goddess's home, her followers look to the star and commence celebrations of her rebirth. On the grounds of Garag Mach Monastery, a grand ceremony is held in honor of this much-anticipated event. Every true follower of the Church of Saros is sure to be in attendance. Uh, professor, I am not understanding where the meaning is here. When and how is this expression used? I fell for it. No, that is what you say when you meet the mate of your soul. The expression is... I fell for it. Thank you, Professor. I finally have understanding. Can I ask you about another word? The one that is written here. Mm -hmm. Is something on my face? Yes, I know about that. That is a joke of Fodlin, right? Is that really what you are thinking? Or maybe you have curiosity about the mark on my face. You are already knowing that I am from Bridget. This is a mark from Bridget. It is a prayer to the forest spirits. A prayer to be protected. Hunters ask the forest spirits to have safe and bountiful hunting. There are many spirits in Bridget. I have more marks on my arms and back. They are prayers for my family's health and triumph. Are you wanting to see them? Oh, I have understanding. I have much gratitude for you, Professor. You always listen with patience. I can read and understand the language of Fodlin, but to speak it uh, gives me difficulty. I hope I will keep having your support, and I will give you my support, too, with my whole heart. I have things that I cannot fail to accomplish. Yes, we will keep walking forward. Okay, so our task this moon is to patrol and guard the monastery in support of the knights, who are busy trying to stop an assassination plot. Here's the thing. I don't think the bad guys are really trying to assassinate the Archbishop. Precisely. That secret note with the assassination plot on it? There's just no way that was real. People don't just carry around secret notes. Someone wanted us to find it. You really think the assassination plot is just a distraction? Oh yeah, that makes complete sense. But then, what are they really after? If I knew that, I wouldn't be so worried. Let's see, it probably involves somewhere that will be empty during the Rite of Rebirth, yeah? Since the ceremony is at the Goddess Tower, it follows that everywhere else at the Academy will be severely understaffed. Do you think they're after the Church's donation money? I hear noble families tend to donate quite generously. My bet's on the dining hall. 
It's a treasure trove of delicious food. Makes me angry just thinking about them getting their grubby hands on it. Let's split up and look around. I'll keep an eye on the reception hall. You should get in some training if you have the time, Hilda. There's a good chance we'll have to fight. Uh, well, I'm not the only one who needs to train here. It's not right to single me out like that. A secret meeting, Professor? Oh, we haven't been introduced. I am Shamir. Shamir is one of the Knights of Saros, and that little go-getter there is... I work for Lady Rhea, and I'm Shamir's apprentice. Oh, the name's Cyril. Yep, I help Lady Rhea with all kinds of stuff. I've got to protect Lady Rhea, so that's why I've got to learn all I can from Shamir. Cyril adores Rhea. That aside, if you need anything, ask. relic. However could I know something? Still, it is heavy on my mind. The stone within the sword. A glow of red. Hm? Oh, it is nothing. writing there, Hilda? Uh, wait, let me guess. You're replying to one of your brother's letters, right? Of course. It's a pain, but I make sure to always send him a response, otherwise he'll worry. It's much easier than when we lived together. A few letters here and there are a small price to pay for this peaceful, brother-free environment. <laughs> well, that's a fine thing to do regardless of your reasons. As for me, it's been far too long since I've written to my parents. Oh, I thought your father had died. Not quite. He's still alive and kicking, as far as I know. The late Duke who died in an accident was my uncle. I see. I do recall you mentioning that your mother was born into the Regan family. What's your father like, if you don't mind me asking? He's quite the extravagant character. When I was a kid, he used to tie me to a horse and drag me around. Excuse me? In all fairness, I was quite a little brat. The horse thing sounds worse than it is. There's sort of a trick to it. A trick I hope I never need to learn. Your mother didn't step in and make him stop? Gods, no. She'd just laugh right along with him. If my father is extravagant, my mother's more like a warrior goddess or maybe a demon queen. This one time, she got into an argument with my combat instructor and wound up in a full-on fist fight with the guy. What's more, she won. My instructor was a mighty warrior, undefeated in a hundred battles, but even he was no match for her. Huh? But your mother is a lady of nobility. True, but she was the kind of woman to elope with the man she loved and throw it all away. Not your average duchess at all. Ooh, they eloped. I like that. It's so romantic. Imagine abandoning your family forever to be with the one you love. Not everyone can do that. It's not a question of can, it's a question of will. Even someone like you who generally despises effort would pull out all the stops for something you really care about. Isn't that right? 
Excuse me? I put in plenty of effort. Hey, that was a compliment. Anyhow, I look forward to the day when something inspires you to try your absolute hardest. It will be something to behold. too much time roaming the monastery. If you're looking for something, try less aimless wandering. Do you even know who the enemy is? You can't know why without knowing who. It's none of my business anyway. I'm just here to take care of enemies who get too close. Be terrible at the green. This place can take so many beautiful flowers. Okay. Are we really just taking Claude's word for it? If so, I doubt anything will come of this. It is all probably just some sort of distasteful joke. I find it highly unlikely that anyone would be foolish enough to barge in here and cause a disturbance. I hope you're well. As for me, I had a date with a splendid specimen of a knight. But now he's suddenly not in the mood to see me again. I blame all these rumors of a deathly figure showing up in town. Such an uproar must have, beyond reason, drawn his attention away from me.
Do you want to hire this battalion? We'll do everything we can. Farewell. So... Professor. Lady Rhea lifts the spirits of all the people of Bodlin. We cannot allow her to come to any harm. I've been in town procuring some supplies for Flame. No, but do not concern yourself for my safety. I am very much stronger than I appear. I have something to ask of you. talk of students wandering the monastery late at night. They wouldn't happen to be from your class, would they? Please keep your students in line, Professor. Kids these days. Oh. Hmm. Setting fire to the stables to distract everyone. To cause a commotion. It is the oldest trick in the book. But I cannot shake the thought that our enemies may attempt it. I will stand guard and watch over the stable. And the knight's horses. They are truly magnificent. Please, do me a favor. Hey there. <sighs> Let's see how this talk of assassination plots it brings back dark memories I prefer to keep buried. I doubt there is any correlation, and yet... Ah, it is nothing. I am sorry for allowing my mind to wander. My focus should be solely on guarding the monastery right now. fought alongside Catherine. I would wager that her power exceeded your expectations. Had you the chance to witness her relic? Thunderbrand, glowing red. That glow is a sure sign that her blood contains a crest that harmonizes with that hero's relic. Oh, hey, Professor. I was just reading this letter from my father. Do you know him? He's a pretty big deal in the Empire. He only writes to ask how my training's going, or how many monsters I've killed. Stuff like that. Hey, I got a favor to ask. seems very familiar to me, but I don't recognize his name. I guess the resemblance could be coincidental. Oh, you want me to join your class? Hmm, well, I'm already having so much... Hmm, but I don't rec... Yes. Sir. 
Fighting to stop a murdering is my specialness. Uh, no, my specialty. I will show my best work. I'm in charge of managing all records for the Golden Deer House. Oh, but I don't have any information of note right now. Go ahead and continue your investigation and put a little extra effort into it, please. Oh, you found it! Thank you so, so much. You're a sweetheart. No classes on a festival day. I thought I'd get to spend all day relaxing in the company of some lovely ladies. But now this mess has happened. Hey, Professor, I know there's talk of an assassination attempt, but do you really think they'll do it on the day of the Rite of Rebirth? I feel like security would be looser some other time. Is there some reason why it has to happen on that day? our foe's intentions, we need information. Lots of it. Or any, at the least. For now, try going around the monastery and looking for suspicious locations. You should also try chatting folks up to see if they know anything. Once we've got things narrowed down, let's meet up and compare notes. Can I ask you a favor? You found it, Teach. I've been looking everywhere. Whew, thanks a million. I don't know who's to blame for all this commotion, but it's frankly a huge inconvenience. With everyone stuck on guard duty, our study and training time has been drastically reduced. Yes, yes, I understand that. But it doesn't change the fact that it's a royal pain. Seems there were forces opposing the church, beyond Lord Lonato. I never thought such forces could exist in this world. I suppose that may be true. What's this? Yes, this is mine. Thank you for returning it. declined my offer of assistance. They said that no one from Dusker is to be trusted, especially now. Given the circumstances, I cannot fault them. Professor. Is it true you got caught in the fighting? I'm so thankful you made it out alive. I don't know what we would do if we lost you. I'm sorry, but that's not my... Oh, have you been tasked with guarding the monastery as well? Such a stir over a single letter. But I suppose the Archbishop's safety is too important to risk. I bet the enemy is using this assassination nonsense just to sneak in and raid the pantry. What do you think, Professor? Oh, I'm right, all right. My animal instinct is telling me that the enemy is after our best meats. Oh, 
Hey! I can't believe I dropped this. Thanks for bringing it to me. Skilled. Why won't you battle me? <laughs> Lord Lenato's rebellion may have been quelled, but the unrest in Fargus isn't dying down anytime soon. The Boar Prince should hurry up and claim the throne, rather than letting old customs hold him back. Join me for some training sometime. I might like to become your student. I'm glad I asked you. this room is. It is the church's treasure vault. I say treasure, but I do not mean silver and gold and jewels. It mostly contains weapons, artifacts, and the like. Anything that would cause too great a stir, should it be stolen? No. The church knows better than to store anything too valuable in such an accessible location. Excuse me, Professor. I just wanted to let you know that Lady Rhea is always real concerned with you. 
She expects great things, I think. Please don't let her down, okay? I hope you're not just saying that. There are numerous books in this library that you cannot find anywhere else. But once you are here, you can read them easily enough. I doubt someone would go to the trouble of stealing one. Sometimes Seteth will dispose of books that are deemed inappropriate for the monastery, but that's about it. In a way, I suppose that makes those particular volumes more valuable, right? like donations to the monastery aren't actually kept here. That means the enemy isn't likely to be interested in money. We should turn our attention elsewhere. Then again, I guess some of the plants in the greenhouse could sell for a lot. But that can't really be it, can it? Oh, oh that's mine! Thanks so much for finding it. story. However, an assassination attempt on Lady Rhea is doomed to fail. Pardon? You think the goal may be different than simple assassination? Intriguing. I suppose the priceless objects in this room could perhaps draw thieves. However, there's no one but me who could make use of them. I can't believe I left this behind. Well, thank you so much for retrieving it. I'm not sure why you'd imagine I might... <sighs> you'd best keep your distance. In this nervous state, I might just cut you down. Come on, I'm only kidding. Oh, this is mine. Thanks, I'm glad to have it back. Might you have come looking for me because you were worried about my safety? I am quite all right, but your concern means a great deal. Yes, that is surely mine. I appreciate you bringing this to me. You really saved me with this. I owe you one, Professor. Professor. Professor! Speaking of... Can you imagine the Archbishop being murdered? I prefer not to consider such a gruesome scenario. Awfully calm, aren't you? I wonder what it takes to rile you up.
Let's see. The monastery's so big. How can we narrow down the list of possible targets? The only places I can think of are the vault and the library and... I guess that's it. You're kidding. I can't stop thinking about Lenato. I'm sorry, Professor. I know this isn't the time, but I just can't get past it. Oh. Thank you. No matter what happens, I promise you I'll do my part. Right. Professor. Professor. I am afraid I have acted a bit childishly toward my brother recently. Given the circumstances, I requested that he provide me with some candies. <laughs> Silly of me, really. The timing was improper, and I regret it very much now. Oh, but more importantly, this place is off-limits, Professor. It is only open to the public on the day of the Goddess's Rite of Rebirth. Wow! I am delighted! Wow! I... Wow! 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 Here's an idea. On the day of the rite, the monastery will be open to the public, including the Holy Mausoleum. The Holy Mausoleum is where the tomb of the Divine Saros lies. There she slumbers, eternally. That's pretty much all that's in there. Just an ancient coffin. It's sealed with a powerful magic, to protect against would-be grave robbers. visited the goddess tower it's a sacred place used for rituals and the like in general students aren't allowed entry but as you'd expect that rule just excites their curiosity <laughs> some have even tried sneaking in well at least for this month that kind of behavior is totally unthinkable we have a lot more security what with the goddess's right of rebirth coming up This is mine. I thought it had vanished. Thanks. I owe you. Impossible. Professor! Maybe.
Okay. Are we really just taking if so? I find it. Oh, most kind. Thank you for bringing this to me. Are we really? If so, I find it. Okay. Has it that Death himself has been appearing in Garrig Mach? They say he appears every night and kidnaps folks. I wonder what happens to them. Oh, that! I thought it was gone for good. How did you know it was mine? So sleepy. Too sleepy. I found an interesting book in the library. Got so caught up reading it, I forgot to sleep. Interesting discovery, though. The coffins of the four saints in the sanctum each have their crests carved into them. I'll need to find a way down there to get a look. What's the matter? You're running all over creation. Ah, you don't believe Lady Rhea is the real target, do you? Even so, the Knights have their orders. We can't abandon our duty to guard Lady Rhea. The Goddess's Rite of Rebirth is an important event for the Church of Seros. They say it's the day when the Goddess will return to walk among us. Not too likely, if you ask me. Uh, best if you keep that to yourself. So, something in the monastery that someone might go after? There's so much here, I couldn't possibly name just one. Even this here kitchen contains precious wares, wine bottles from centuries past and the like. I hear that stuff is fancy, but not very drinkable. I doubt anyone would go to the trouble of stealing it. Well done. You have my thanks. a big help. Hmm. Something the church values above all else. And on the day of the rite, it'll be open to the public, making it easier than ever to get inside. That's gotta be it, right? Bullseye. We don't know the enemy's intentions, not yet. But our best bet is that their target will be the Holy Mausoleum. Delicious food really takes my worries away. This is my absolute favorite. How did you know, Professor? Really just taking Claude's word for if so, I doubt anything will come of this. I find it highly unlikely that how kind of you. 
I will have to repay you sometime. I will stay. Oh, I was looking. to people the truth is I didn't interact with people too often before I came here oh um no particular reason I'm simply not very good at it that's just how I am uh, um, thank you I'm sorry you shouldn't waste your time worrying about me. Please, just ignore me. I, um, have to be going now. Goodbye, Professor. As for me, I blink. Wherever did this turn up? Thank you for getting it back to me. Liking that greatly. Yeah, you just get it, Professor. 
This is my favorite. I enjoy baking sweets, but I'm not sure how I'll do cooking other types of food. Hmm, I see. Cooking is much more exciting than studying or training. That was easy, thanks. <laughs> that was easy, thanks. That was easy, thanks. I've learned a lot. I'm 
getting the hang of it. I gotta ask you something. Makes sense to me. Professor. Professor, thank you for helping me with my training. I'd love to do this again if possible. Your advice is always so useful. Everyone thinks you're a wonderful teacher. You account for people's weaknesses while capitalizing on their strengths. Initially, I wasn't sure you paid too much attention to your students. Clearly, I was wrong. After all, were that the case, you wouldn't be capable of providing such useful feedback. I'll continue to learn and grow from your instruction, Professor. I just know it. You think I'm determined? Professor, I... Thank you. You're the only one who's ever praised me like that. I mean, people are always telling me I've got a knack for magic. If you can call the power of my crest a knack, they aren't wrong, per se. Though bearing two crests isn't a gift I ever asked for. Anyhow, I've made a point to work harder than most, and not rely too heavily on the power they bestow. So I find it frustrating that the only praise I seem to receive is directly related to that power. If you've noticed how hard I work, then, well, it just... It makes me very happy. Well, you see, I... It is because I am the only child of House Ordelia. I must do all I can for my family name. I'm determined to someday be of real value to them. And that day must come soon. I can't waste any time. I don't have much of it left. Anyway, I should be going. Thank you again for your help. You think I'd cheat? On you, baby? Never. Come on. You should know me better than that. You're the only one for me. I swear. Hey, if you don't believe me, well... Oh, I get it. If I'm not your type, do you want me to introduce you to some other guys who have crests? They're all nobles, just like me. What? That isn't why I'm... You... You're worse than I thought! I just want you to be happy. You know, get what you're after. I hate seeing a girl cry. Especially one as beautiful as you. So, you know, maybe we... <sighs> so, Professor... Do you enjoy spying on people? You look like you've got something to say, so say it. Hey, that was between me and her, not you. But you know how it is. Most relationships, they end in heartbreak. Anyway, I don't know why she's so upset about me dating other girls. She didn't care before she found out, so why does she care now? I really do hate seeing a girl cry. I swear it's the truth. 
My heart's in a million pieces right now. It's just the worst. Well, I figure the best way to mend a broken heart is to head out on the town. Why don't you join me? Who knows? Maybe you'll find love. I mean, I know I will. Calm down, it was only a joke. You've really got no sense of humor, you know that? There's someone who's slightly off. Oh well, that adds some color, I suppose. Me 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 me. Something appears to be wrong with my throat. I still have much to learn. I'm honored that you invited me. You know about my favorite tea. I am moved. I am ever so grateful. Have some, Professor. Right. Lively places are my favorite. I like the monastery because there are always so many people bustling about. I shall take it. That tea was very delicious. Please take care, Professor. Hey, Claude. You're looking so cute. Wait, that me? Well, that was nothing to write home about. Maybe if Claude had put in some effort for once. Are you really blind to your own slacking? Oh well, we'll do better next time. I think I get it now.
smell mm, it's amazing my fave in fact do you like it too that looks delicious goddess forgive me I've just got to indulge Yeah, you just get it, Professor. This is my favorite. This is my absolute favorite. How did you know, Professor? I enjoy baking sweets, but I'm not sure how I'll do cooking other types of food. Hmm, I see. Cooking! Well... I'll keep my voice down. I hope this song reaches the goddess's ears.
I learned a I see. It's all I learned a lot. <laughs> I could get used to this. <laughs> Don't stop. Keep it coming. I got it right. You there, youngster. Won't you listen to this old man's troubles? I was born and raised right here in this town. I spent my whole life here. My daughter lives in the Empire, and she sent me a letter to ask if I was keeping up with my daily worship. Well, hello there, Professor. Is this a friend of yours? Is that so? I was sure you two knew each other. Is there something we can do for you, good sir? Oh, what a lovely young lady. I was just telling this kind soul a story. Really? What's troubling you? Well, I was thinking of going to daily prayer, but my leg's been acting up and I can't walk properly. How terrible. That's no good at all. May I be of assistance? I'd be happy to lend a shoulder and escort you to the chapel. Would you? Oh, I'd be most grateful to you. Thank the goddess for sending this young lady to me today. We'll need your help too, Professor. Here, sir, take my arm. Splendid work, Professor. He really seemed to appreciate our assistance. Putting a smile on someone's face always seems to brighten up the day. Is something wrong? You're giving me a strange look. Oh, mm, how should I put this? I suppose it's just second nature to me. It's difficult to describe, but I can usually tell when someone is worried about something. Back there, I could tell that both you and the old man were in distress. I spent a good amount of my life living in the church. Maybe that's why I'm so good at identifying these things? Did I not mention that before? I spent nearly ten years of my life in the church of Fargus. 
Many came to us with their troubles. In my own time of need, I once ran to the church myself, and they helped me. May I share something with you, Professor? It's about a dream of mine. I'd like to work in the church one day. I want to be like the priest who helped me. Never mind. It's not a very realistic dream. Please, forget I said anything. If I were someone else, perhaps a commoner without a crest or stature, maybe things would be different. It's a bit sad, but this is the way things have to be. After all, only the goddess can decide our fates. Well, that was nothing to write home about. Maybe if Claude had put in some effort for once. Are you really blind to your own slacking? Oh well, we'll do better next time. My efforts have borne fruit. I feel like I get it now. How's this gonna help? I will master this. Fighting to stop a murdering is my specialness. Uh... Yes. Really? Speaking of... Keep my voice down. Don't want people thinking I'm vying for attention. But how loud is too loud? Learning these things gives me great difficult... Uh... Difficulty. Well...
enjoy baking. Hmm. I see. Cooking is much more exciting than. Yeah, you just get it, Professor. This is my favorite. This is my absolute favorite. How did you know, Professor? I would be liking that greatly. That looks delicious. Goddess, forgive me. I've just got to indulge. in the fighting I'm so thankful you made it out alive I don't know what we would do if we lost you Why, thank you so much <laughs> isn't it nice taking a moment to relax you're very thoughtful professor so much better than those nobles around here Thank you so much! Mm, how warm! Yeah! I'm not really a fan of hymns. I don't want to offer silly songs to my goddess. Professor. Hmm? Thank you, Professor. Hmm? Thank you, Professor. Hmm? Thank you, Professor. That was a lovely cup of tea. Thank you, Professor. Please call me again. So, 
Oh, yeah. Lord Lenot the Borp. Join me for some training, so I might. Come right out and say it. I find you a little difficult to be around. I know, I know. I'm your student and you're just trying to watch out for me. But the way you look at me sometimes, it's like you're seeing right through me. No, don't apologize. I know you don't mean anything bad by it. I'm, I'm just self-conscious, I guess. The thing is... I don't have anything to call my own. No land, no birthright, no fortune. Little knowledge or battle skill. I think that's why I always clung to my popularity as a diva. Even after leaving the stage behind, I sort of kept up the act. When I look at you, it's like your eyes are accusing me. Telling me that you see right through it. That's what I mean when I say it's difficult being around you. Hey, uh, this might be nuts, but... Maybe you could show me some kind of weakness of yours? You know my biggest fear. If I know one of yours, maybe I'll feel less... I don't know... Vulnerable. Excellent. Well then, don't mind me. You know, Professor, I never hear any gossip about you. Of a romantic nature, I mean. Would I be right in assuming you're not very... experienced with romance? Maybe we should find out somehow. Um, Professor? What's with you? Why aren't you reacting to anything I'm doing? Oh, come on! Is your heart even beating? You're making me lose my confidence. <laughs> Don't be so silly. Huh? It really isn't beating? Is what I'd say if I were more gullible. <laughs> You're just fooling around, Professor. I'm not sure how you did it, but that was a good one. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I make you wait? I ran as fast as I could. Thanks. Tastes great. Relaxation. Tastes great. 
you really have time for this? I know how busy you are. of relaxation. How's that? No matter how hard you look, you won't see what I'm scheming. It's so relaxing. Ah, I'm afraid I've stayed too long. Thanks for the tea. Let's plan to do this again sometime. so grateful. The rite of rebirth is finally underway. Time to see if our hunch was right. Ugh, I hope it's not. Then we wouldn't have to fight anyone. We've all come to this conclusion together. I'm sure we've got it right. Right or wrong, the clock is ticking. All we can do for now is stick to the plan. You seem a mite too relaxed for my liking. The goddess's rite of rebirth is about to begin. While we are in the goddess tower, we are relying on you to secure the locations that are lacking in defense. May I let you in on something, Professor? My brother can be a bit... callous. He told me that he was concerned about you, and hinted that perhaps you would be better off patrolling a coffin. <laughs> that was said in jest, Flame, and in confidence. Please just remain by my side and do not cause any more trouble. As a professor, you would do well to remember that it is your duty to guide your students down the path of righteousness. Please excuse us, everyone. We shall see you again after the ceremony has concluded. Sedith is way too overprotective. He reminds me of my brother. Come on, Teach. I know a hidden spot where we can monitor the stairs that lead to the Holy Mausoleum. If there's anyone down there, they'll be trapped like the rats they are. We'll just have to take them down without getting bitten. My thank you so much! I am grateful. I have gratitude. Thanks so much! Our guess was spot on. Looks like we have company. And those Central Church dasters have spotted us. Buy me some time while I open the seal on the casket. I'm on it. Looks like the enemy is going after the casket in the back. Maybe they're going after the saint's bones? Weird. But I'd like to defeat them before they can finish the job. But did you notice? 
Look closely at the ground. There's some kind of contraption on certain parts of the floor. The smart move is to advance while finding the best fighting positions we can, based on the enemy's weaponry. Stay focused. Let's get to it. as much who me <laughs> sorry did I hurt you I will get the victory death knight prove your strength and scatter these fools I don't take commands or waste my time on weaklings. I'm getting a really disturbing vibe from that guy. No one go near the evil-looking knight, okay? Each battle, a chance to grow. Just try. That takes care of that. I'm 
celebrate later. Another one down. I'm aiming high. Reinforcements haven't arrived? Hmm. If they approach from behind, we can attack them from both sides. Stay focused. Stay focused. No hesitation. I will get the victory. Let's get to it. and willing. Thanks. 
Be mindful. It's over. Should I have held back? Your skill is impressive. Thank you. Caution is needed. Stay focused. Favorite part. Never underestimate an outsider. I expected as much. I will get the victory. It's not luck, it's fate. Let the lesson be 
Rocket! That is that. As expected. Nope. Let's get to it. Too late. The seal will be broken any minute now. It is decided. Improving. It's no use. A seal is broken. You can't. Huh? A sword. 
Is the intruder here? Oh, looks like you have this under control. You, round up any stragglers. Will do. As all of you have committed a breach of faith, the Archbishop will now pass judgment. Inciting a kingdom noble to rebel. Unlawful entry. The attempted assassination of the Archbishop. An attack on the Holy Mausoleum. It is unnecessary to go on, followers of the Western Church. What? We have nothing to do with the Western Church. You have already been identified. Please spare us your second-rate theater. Dishonoring a holy ceremony is worthy of death for a member of the Church. You are well past the hope of redemption. If you have any grace remaining, you will willingly offer your life as atonement for this crime. No! This isn't what we were told would happen! We've been deceived! It's no use arguing. Whatever your excuse, the punishment stands. May your souls find peace as they return to the Goddess. Wait! Please! The Goddess would never forgive you for our execution! Monster! We know you've already slaughtered many of our fellow brethren like this. This concludes the investigation. Please remove these poor lost souls from my sight. I suppose that's that. The assassination attempt, the attack on the Holy Mausoleum... Looks like it was all a plot by the Western Church. It's just too bad that that masked knight who was leading the attack got away. Vanished without a trace. But... why would the Western Church want to attack Lady Rhea? Why? Take your pick of reasons. Relations with the Western Church aren't exactly friendly. Oh, that's right. Gerald mentioned that you grew up completely isolated from the church. The Church of Saros is split into a few different branches across Fodlan. The central church is headquartered right here at Garrick Mach. Then there's the western church. Far west from Castle Gaspar, where Lord Lanato had his little rebellion, is the fortress city of Aryan Road. It's the strongest fortress in the kingdom. On the other side of it is the headquarters of the western church. Not too smart to bicker with people who worship the same goddess as you. The bishop of the Western Church must be pretty ambitious. Probably hopes to split off completely. In which case, he'd need to weaken the Central Church's influence. Killing Rhea is certainly one way to do that. To the shock of no one, I hear the Knights have been sent to subdue the leaders of the Western Church. We'll probably get a chance to assist. You're an odd one, aren't you, Professor? How'd you make it this far in life without ever interacting with the church? 
I can't believe someone like you exists in Fodlin. It's too strange. If you think that's weird, consider the fact that Rhea hired Teach despite all that. So those guys they caught, they all got the axe, right? That's brutal. Lady Rhea can be rather intimidating at times. In fact, she can be downright terrifying. Professor, those who cannot be saved must be delivered to the goddess for judgment. Is that not so? There you are, Professor. It seems Lady Rhea would like a word with you. Come with me. The Archbishop lives. Not that I had ever placed much faith in those swine from the Western Church. I have news, both good and bad. The remains of Saros were not in a tomb. However, something else was. The Sword of the Creator. Ah, the weapon wielded by that thief, the King of Liberation. Thief? Huh. At any rate, it is now in the hands of the Academy's new professor. I doubt you will be surprised to hear that the Crest Stone had already been removed from the sword when it was found. Hmm. As expected. It would be foolish to keep both in the same location. There's more. The Professor was able to awaken the sword's true power. Even without the Crest Stone, the sword glowed red. The Professor's crest is compatible. There is no mistaking it. Absurd. Using a relic without its crest stone should be impossible. The King of Liberation's bloodline should not even... Hmm. They must be allowed to keep it, for now. I do not have enough information about the Professor to act. As for your request, I assent. The Death Knight is at your command. Use him well. Good. I believe I will enjoy this a great deal. I cannot thank you enough for defeating those invaders in the Holy Mausoleum, and especially for protecting the Sword of the Creator. That sword is one of the hero's relics, and the most precious artifact in the Church's possession. It is also a weapon of terrifying power. For now, I will entrust the sword to you. Please, use it wisely. Lady Rhea, wait! Do you truly mean to give the sword of the Creator to this... stranger? Surely it is not the sort of thing one hands over so readily, even to someone who has the ability to wield it. If someone like Nemesis were to appear again, all of Vodlin would be consumed by war. <laughs> Nemesis, the King of Liberation. He is an ancient king of mankind who was defeated by Seros over a thousand years ago. When Fodlin was attacked by wicked gods, it is said that the goddess gifted Nemesis with the Sword of the Creator. Nemesis used that sword to defeat the wicked gods, saving all of Fodlin. Henceforth, he was dubbed the King of Liberation. However, his power began to corrupt him until he himself turned to the darkness. Saint Seros was forced to destroy him. Lady Rhea, I beg you to reconsider. Given a little more time, we could more accurately assess this stranger's abilities. No. I have faith, Sedeth. Faith that our friend here will not be corrupted by wickedness. Since the death of Nemesis, none have been able to wield the Sword of the Creator. Now, after all those long years of being sealed away, it has returned and found a new master. I understand. As you wish, Lady Rhea. There you have it, Professor. See that you do not betray the trust the Archbishop has seen fit to bestow upon you. The Sword of the Creator? The King of Liberation? Each tale is more confusing than the last. And I really can't read that Rhea at all. That sword is clearly precious. So why is she so keen to gift the thing to you? I feel 
feel as though we have become entangled in a mystery. And there is one more thing that has been plaguing me. The Sword of the Creator. It somehow feels distinct from other relics we have seen. Such as the one that... Oh goodness, what was her name? Ka... Cat... Uh... Yes, her! The Sword of the Creator is different from her Thunderbrand in one key way. It bears a hole, where something should have been, but is no more. I despise not knowing what is going on. It... it frightens me. And yet, I place my trust in you. I must. Whatever comes to pass, please swear to cut a path that is your own. The Sword of the Creator, pulled right from the legends. I finally found it, and yet it ended up in Teach's hands. Could I even use it anyway? Ah, damn it. There's no telling what's to come. <laughs>